What is up YouTube? Briscoll over here outside of Goodwill. Uh, they close at five o'clock on Sundays. It is Sunday and uh, we're here at about 4.30. So let's see what we can find in a half hour in Goodwill. Let's go. All right, the colors that are on sale are green and blue. Valid only Sunday and Monday, 50% off. So maybe we'll get lucky, find some green and blue. All right, so there's some people looking at the DVDs. So we're gonna come around here to the VHS tapes, luggage, see it. Oh, that's cool, is that Darth Maul? That is, it even says Darth Maul right there. Man, if I was eight, I would love that. I mean, I kind of love it right now, we have here. These can sometimes be pretty decent, these sing-along songs. I've sold these online. We also have a Very Brady sequel on VHS. I've been having great luck with VHS pretty recently. They've just been selling like hotcakes. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna scan all of these on Amazon and see if they're worth it. I also just realized they're all blue tags, so they're only 50 cents each. Worst comes to worst, you just build a lot on eBay and sell them. I think they'd sell totally fine, but let's scan them in. Oh, no, that barcode's slightly covered. So let's try to find one where a barcode's not covered. And if they're all kind of going for a decent price, then we'll just buy them all, let's see. Yeah, 15 bucks, decent rank, we'll snag that. I assume this one's also going for 15, we'll just leave it there. Let's try this next one. I mean, at 50 cents each, you can't really do wrong. Oh well, maybe on this one you can. <laughs> let's see, uh, used 9.99. It's only $3.38, you'd make about three bucks on it, but I'll leave that behind. Well, let's try this one. All right, scanned it in, and this one's a decent bit better, used $14.94. Sometimes it doesn't give you all the fee values, there we go. You make $6.52, so that is a $6 profit. Snag that one. Try the Snow White one. There's the barcode, barcodes are hidden all over these things, let's try that. And I believe it's this one, hi-ho. Sell for $11.98, is that correct? Yeah, this listing is wrong right here. It says Disney sing-along songs, hi-ho, but it shows too many of them, so we're gonna not try that one. I believe it's this one right here. You make four bucks, so only $3.50. Um, oh, it's somebody selling it acceptable at $11.98. I think it's closer to that $15 range. We could definitely grab that one. We have another one right here, you can fly. I just realized that the barcode is slightly covered on this also. So I'm gonna show you guys another way to do it. You can take a picture of the actual VHS with the Amazon seller app with the little camera icon. And it should, if, it, if we're lucky, be able to tell what it is and pull up the listing. There we go. And, um, See, sometimes it pulls up so many different ones. So I'm gonna have to try typing it in real quick. All right, we found it. You can fly, sing along songs. Decent rank and boom, $48. Make about 35 bucks, minus my 50 cents. Still make about 35 bucks, we'll snag it. All right, so I looked through a little bit of the media. I wasn't really finding much besides those VHS tapes. I came down the next aisle and I found two pretty cool things. We have a brother printer here. This is a pretty sweet printer. Here's the model number right there, HL3170CDW. And looking it up on Amazon, it has a pretty decent rank, brand new, $800, which is almost 900 bucks. Used, $247. Holy cow, you'd make about 200 bucks on this thing. Please say they're charging 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 to $12 would be great. Um. Oh, it uses lots of different toners. Close that. I just noticed a button is missing there. I don't don't like the look of that. Let's see. It's also missing the power cord. Don't like the look of that either. They're asking twenty dollars. Oh, yikes! What do you guys do? Missing the power cord. It looks like a universal power cord, so not that big of a deal. I I can't tell if there's supposed to be a button here or not. It's just an empty hole. Try to open it up. Yeah, you can't tell underneath. Oh, I don't know. I do not know. Another thing that's kind of cool, hey, you can see me, are these old TVs with the VCRs built in. They're kind of sought after. This is a little bit bigger than what I want to mess with. It's actually not that heavy, surprisingly. I wonder what the price is on it. Let's see if there's a price. I haven't seen one of these in a Goodwill in a while. 
There is no price anywhere on it, so who knows what they're asking, but not every day you see one of those. You know what, I'll pop up one that sells pretty well. I believe it's a Sony Trinitron one, and I've sold it a couple times in the past. I believe it's a white model. Keep an eye out for them. They sell pretty well, and every once in a while you'll find them for five, 10 bucks, and they sell pretty quick. So Ashley just found this Michael Kors bag. Now I don't really mess with this kind of stuff because I can never tell if it's real or fake, but taking a look at the stitching on here, it looks really, really good. Comparing it to legit pictures online of brand new ones, all the little markings and everything on here are really nice. Here it is on Poshmark for $200 and it matches up really nicely. Now I wanted to take a quick look on eBay just to double check. This might be more of a Poshmark sale anyways. Uh, here it is on eBay sold today for 140 bucks. Now it's brand new with a longer strap. This is used without that strap. Um, but if this is five bucks, I don't see why we couldn't list it for 50, $60 and get an easy sale, possibly closer to a hundred. This is really cool. The only issue is there is no price anywhere on this. Just like that TV, no price. So. Maybe we'll bring it up front, see what they want to charge us. Hopefully $5, because that's about the most I'd want to gamble on something like this. I don't know how long it would take to sell. Granted, one sold today, but there's a couple listed at the moment. So, yeah, that's an interesting find. Good job, Ashley. All right, everybody left the media section, which is good for me. I could take a quick look here. What is this? Shrek's Thrilling Tales from Walmart, or Kmart. Throwback right there, expires uh, October 31st, 2014. Okay, don't think that's gonna be worth much. You never know though. What is this? Subway Stories, brand new sealed. This looks like something that would have value. You can see it was only $3.99 at one point. There we go, yeah, it was only $3.99 at one point, but you never know. What we're gonna do, scan it in, see if it's worth money. All right, so I found it on Amazon, and it's got an okay rank, selling for only $8.95, surprisingly. So you'd only make $3.36, and it's $2.00. Uh, it's blue, so it's only one dollar, but for two buck profit, I'm just gonna leave it behind, no big deal. This also looks kind of interesting. Pillar, broken down, the EP. Might be worth something. Let's give it a quick scan. See if we could get lucky on a random CD. Mm, no, as low as two dollars and 81 cents. So we'll leave that. But, oh, we have a couple sealed things over here. The Magnificent Seven. Scan this and see if we can get lucky on this one. Come on. What do we got? Nope, $6.53. We'll leave that too. We have a whole bunch of DVDs right now. It looks like a bunch of newer ones from the last time I was here. It's kind of what it looks like. Here we have something sealed down here. Since we don't have a lot of time, I'm kind of... Uh, now the Switch, I know that's not going to be worth much. Usually these newer, you know, highly produced... DVDs aren't going to be worth much, and surprisingly, Disney stuff isn't worth much either. Uh, we'll scan it in though and see. Maybe again, we'll get a little lucky here. Pete's Dragon, probably, yeah, brand new, only seven forty-four. So I'm going to do a quick look on this side. If I find anything, you guys will see. All right, so I'm on the other side of the media, and there's just stacks and stacks. I found something pretty cool here. Biggest spider. Sometimes these weird things be worth money. It's half off since it's blue. Brand new sealed with the little seal up there. I scanned it in. Here it, oh, it actually has a swear in the name. That's why. Uh, look at that. 500, oh, not $500. $58.97. Really cool. But now that I realize, why does that say biggest? And that doesn't. So maybe this one isn't the correct listing. Let's see. Um... That's weird. Let's try eBay real quick and see if something pops up. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, barcode scanner. Nothing. You know, I'm gonna grab it and just wing it at $1. Why not? All right, I wanted to check out the plush again because the electronics and the toy section is pretty packed with people. So maybe we'll find something hidden here. An area where I wouldn't normally look too hard. Maybe we'll find something. These Beanie Boos can be pretty good. I've sold a bunch in the past if they're brand new with the tags. This one's got some marker stains on it, so not very good. That's kind of an issue I always have with plushies. They're always stained up or they have a weird smell to them or something. And I really don't like to mess with that or clean them or anything. So 
I usually end up passing on most. This is a heavy stitch. This is a lot of stitch plushes. This one's like five, maybe three pounds. He's pretty heavy for five dollars. He's cool, but I don't know. Another stitch, another big stitch. This one's actually kind of cool. I think I'll leave that. This is really cool. I actually just found a Peanuts Squishmallows Snoopy. Never seen this. It's perfect for Christmas right around the corner with the tags. Let's try and scan it in, see if it's on Amazon. All right, they're asking $3 here. I scanned it in and here it is on Amazon with a decent rank selling for $27.50. No FBA offers. That's pretty great. If we click through a little bit further, See at $27.50, you would profit $13.94. So minus $3, that's $10 profit. A little $11 profit, that's pretty sweet. We'll snag that, why not? All right, we have a cute little My Little Pony Rainbow Dash, I think her name is. Yep, Rainbow Dash. Brand new with the tags, scanned it in, and here it is on Amazon. Uh, the rank is a little high because nobody is on the listing. So I assume it's probably like a $20, $25 plush. Not bad for, ooh, where's the price? Uh, $2, really cheap, we'll snag it. Here is a really derpy looking shark. Uh, what is, what year is he from? Does it say 2003 Clark? Oh, there we go. Look at that. 2003 Clark Wish Pets Shark. <laughs> he's the most derpy shark I've ever seen. I doubt he's worth anything, but I gotta look him up. So I tried looking it up, and here's a similar one for $9, but they took a best offer. There's one $9 free shipping. Not worth much, but he's a derp. We're gonna leave him. <laughs> so every once in a while, these Disney Store Authentic plushies can be worth a decent amount. If you look at the foot under there, you'll see the Disney Store Authentic. This guy, I couldn't find him. I just typed in Disney Store Hippo Plush on eBay. And here he is, where is he? Right there, somebody's selling him for $23, $24 just about. Uh, there's another one for about 20, you know, 22, $23. This guy's only at 12. So yeah, at, yeah, there's one for eight plus eight shipping, so 16. Luckily, he's really cheap at $3, and since that color is half off, he's only a buck 50. But I noticed a little bit of staining on him up here somewhere, right there. It's kind of hard, so you'd have to clean him up. I'm not gonna mess with that. So that, you know, you always wanna be extra careful with these plushies. Make sure they don't have any of the stains, no little rips on them. It's better if they have the tags, of course. I don't really like to sell used ones too much, so we'll put him behind, but Hey, almost a score. All right, take a look at this shirt right here. Man, little me would have loved this. It's like a dinosaur slash dragon dunking a flaming basketball. That, that's just so cool. If I had a kid, he'd be wearing that. All right, guys, so I thought they closed at five o'clock on Sundays. They closed at seven, so we don't have to rush anymore. Now we could really start digging in these aisles and find some hidden gems. I'm sure we'll come across something. I've had luck selling Playmobil toys before. This box is in kind of busted shape, uh, but I've never seen this one with the monkeys in it. I opened it up and it's missing the people, the monkeys. It's probably missing half the set, which is a shame. Here is a sold listing on eBay for $35 plus 13 shipping. So they do sell, not bad, but gotta leave it behind. After going down the entire electronics aisle, I thought I struck out until the very end. Here is an Oxygenics, never even heard of the brand before. Body Spa RV, brand new in packaging, still has the seal stickers on it. Three dollars, scanned it into Amazon. Take a look at this, has a pretty good rank, 33 bucks. I'll make just under $20 on it. Pretty solid, we're snagging it. All right, so I thought I just scored big time here on this electronic Santa. It's a dancing, singing Santa. It plays Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and it's $12. I just, what I thought, was bought one of these here um, last year, and I waited until a couple weeks ago and mine sold. Here's what mine sold for. Take a look at that, $144.80, but it's the Jingle Bell Rock version. This is not. I looked this one up, he's only about $22. It's crazy what a song difference can do. Uh, not it, not worth it at 12. This one though, keep an eye out for Jingle Bell Rock Animated Santa. Sells for great money this time of year. It had a rank of over a million when I bought it, but I knew it would sell around Christmas and it did. All right, this is kind of interesting. It's ugly head replaceable line. I 
think for Weed Whackers. I'm not sure. It's three dollars. It's brand new. I looked it up. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. I looked it up and uh, has a rank in toys, which is weird. It's not for 14. You'd make money on it. The picture is a little different on it. There's another um, piece to it right here. So I think it does go to Weed Whackers. <laughs> not 100% sure. Let's see. Let's look this one up. All right, after scanning this one in, yeah, this one's not bad. So it is for Weed Whackers. It's a trimmer. And yeah, look at that, $42.99. And how much are they asking? Five bucks. Not bad. Maybe I'll grab both. I think I'll grab both. Why not? All right, taking a quick look back at this Santa right here for $12. That wasn't worth it. I went on a little walk looking through all, all this goodies. And I got to about here. And way down here, I pulled out Jingle Bell Rock Santa for only $3. There's an issue though. Christmas is in about 15 days, 16 days. So if you take a look right here, you can see great rank right now, selling super fast for $165. Merchants are coming in at 84. If I ship it off to Amazon, it will not get there in time for people to pay the 164. So I have to sell mine for about 84, which is not bad, brand new, 150. So yeah, it's it's about $84 and it's only three. Now let's plug it in and hope it works. All right guys, moment of truth. He's plugged in, let's see if he works. He has a switch back here. Turn the volume to on. Please move. Oh, he's supposed to be moving though. Oh, move. Oh, oh, I just had to hit him. There we go. He's working. That's perfect. We're snagging him. All right, guys, I find these every once in a while and they always do really well for me. The latch hook kits. This is a wonder art. I looked it up on Amazon and there's nobody on the listing right now, but I normally get between 20 and 25 bucks for these. They always have different artwork and it's brand new. So is there a price though? Oh, $2. Yeah, definitely snagging that. All right, we're going to jump outside my comfort zone and look at some shoes at the Goodwill. And first thing we see here are these Adidas what? Spring blades? I've never seen anything like this before. I have no idea if they're worth anything. They're not in the best of shape. They're definitely worn. I see a little bit of paint chipping right here, so I don't know if I would buy these to sell, but do a little bit of research, see if they're worth anything. I have no clue. What are, what are they asking on them? Is there even a price? I don't even see a price. $6. Not terrible, actually. That's pretty cheap. Let's see if they're worth anything. All right, taking a look at the solds. $100 on best offer, $100 on best offer, $20, $58, $90, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $